Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to make more bread, but we're going to make sourdough this time. So right here I have my starter. I made this. I started it oh, about a week ago now. So as you can see, I've been feeding it. It's happy. It's bubbly. So the first thing we need to do is measure out one cup of this, but you don't want it bubbly. So you want to stir it down before you measure it out. And then when I'm all done with this, I will feed my sourdough starter too. So I'm going to stir it up. All right. I'm going to measure out one cup. I'm going to set it aside so I can feed it in a little bit. All right. So when making bread, you want to put your liquids in first. So I have one cup of my sourdough starter. And it is considered a liquid. Ideally, you keep it in the bread pan. Now, this is just the quick, easy way. If you want a more fermented or sour taste, you want to do it in the oven. This will still provide a beautiful sourdough. We had some last night. Um, the reason I'm making more is my dad's coming over tonight for dinner. But if you want that extra fermented or extra sour taste, you want to do the overnight method, but because we're in the bread machine and kind of crunch time to get this done, we're doing it this way. Uh, three quarters cup of warm water. And the reason you put your liquids on the bottom is so the flour doesn't stick to the bottom. Three cups of flour. And I have one and a half teaspoons of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and three quarters teaspoon of instant yeast, bread machine yeast. Now when you do it in the oven and the long method you don't need that but this just helps it along a little bit so then we pop this into our bread machine and come back and it'll be all cut. All right we're going to feed the sourdough starter. So you do this a couple ways. You want equal parts of flour to water ratio to starter ratio. So that equals to almost a cup of flour. I have my lines marked. And then about half a cup of water. And then you stir. You gotta get, incorporate all the new to feed the old starter. And so what I do is if I'm not making bread, oops, sorry. If I'm not making bread, you have to discard. You can make crackers. You, there's a lot of things you can do with the discard where you can discard it or feed it to pigs. And there's a lot you can do. So you want to incorporate that. Stir, stir, stir. edges. Tap, 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 tap. And then, since I'm in a mason jar, I'm not going to screw this on you. Just set it on so it can breathe and it should double in size overnight. So I 
was going to show you what it looked like straight out of the bread machine, but we've ate half of it already. And it was already cut up when I got home yesterday. So, so good. It makes great garlic toast. It's great. Don't mind my hands. I've been tattooing goats. Um, but it is wonderful. I highly suggest this recipe. I hope everybody has a great day. May God bless you. Until next time. Bye.